In today's video, I want to show you how to do uh, an absolute uh, value calculation within a pivot table. This was a, a request uh, that somebody had, so I wanted to make a video out of this. Uh, here we have typical data that we make a pivot table from. And notice how the first row contains the field names. And notice how column G has a collection of positive and negative numbers. It's just sample data. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and start the pivot table. I'll pick on insert and then pivot table and then pivot table again. And usually on this screen, it picks the proper range. In this case, it did. And we're going to put it on a new worksheet. And I'll click on OK. Now we're building the pivot table. So from here, I'll pick on expense type and make it the row label. Uh, I'm going to pick on country and make it the column label. Uh, and I'm going to pick on positive, negative, and move that into the values field. And now you can see that some of them came up as negative numbers, and some of them came up as positive numbers. Well, we want to take the absolute value of that. So what you really do is you're going to make your own calculated field. Uh, I'm going to pick on the options menu from the pivot table. And then I'll pick on fields, items, and sets. And I'll say calculated field. Then you have this new window where you actually are going to make your own field. So let's call this one absolute value. Give it a good name. Now for the formula, what you do is you get rid of the zero and you keep the equal sign. You want to think about a normal Excel formula, except instead of using the, um, the, the cell references, like A1 or B3 or something like that, you're going to use the field names. So I want to say equals if, open parentheses, um, positive negative. I'm going to double click on that. And notice how that shows them in the formula. And we'll say less than zero. Now, if it's less than zero, that means it's a negative number. So I want to multiply that by negative one. So I'm going to uh, take that and multiply it by negative 1. Now, uh, if it's more than 0, we'll just use the value of that as it is. We'll close the parentheses. So the formula says equals if, open parentheses, positive negative less than 0, comma, positive negative times negative 1, comma, positive negative, close parentheses. So in other words, if it's less than 0, we'll multiply it by negative 1. Otherwise, we'll use the original value. I'm going to click on OK. Uh, now, notice how I have the, uh, the value here and then the absolute value. Now, if I want that on the, uh, on the extra column there, what I'll do is I'll move this positive negative to the column label and uh, move it back actually to this section here. And notice that what we have now, we have the positive and negative in one column and we have the, um, the absolute value in the second column. So the way to really do that is to actually make your own calculation and let's take a look at that calculation again uh, there it is uh, so it's basically doing the the mathematical equivalent of the absolute value